Chapter 20 And at that time Abraham journeyed from the plain of Mamre, and he went to the land of the Philistines, and he dwelt in Gerar. It was in the twenty-fifth year of Abraham's being in the land of Canaan, and the hundredth year of the life of Abraham, that he came to Gerar in the land of the Philistines. And when they entered the land, he said to Sarah his wife, Say thou art my sister to any one that shall ask thee, in order that we may escape the evil of the inhabitants of the land. And as Abraham was dwelling in the land of the Philistines, the servants of Abimelech, king of the Philistines, saw that Sarah was exceedingly beautiful, and they asked Abraham concerning her, and he said, She is my sister. And the servants of Abimelech went to Abimelech, saying, A man from the land of Canaan is come to dwell in the land, and he has a sister that is exceeding fair. And Abimelech heard the words of his servants who praised Sarah to him, and Abimelech sent his officers, and they brought Sarah to the king. And Sarah came to the house of Abimelech, and the king saw that Sarah was beautiful, and she pleased him exceedingly. And he approached her and said to her, What is that man to thee, with whom thou didst come to our land? And Sarah answered and said, He is my brother, and we came from the land of Canaan to dwell wherever we could find a place. And Abimelech said to Sarah, Behold, my land is before thee. Place thy brother in any part of this land that pleases thee, and it will be our duty to exalt and elevate him above all the people of the land, since he is thy brother. And Abimelech sent for Abraham, and Abraham came to Abimelech. And Abimelech said to Abraham, Behold, I have given orders that thou shalt be honored as thou desirest, on account of thy sister Sarah. And Abraham went forth from the king, and the king's present followed him. As at evening time before men lie down to rest, the king was sitting upon his throne, and a deep sleep fell upon him, and he lay upon the throne and slept till morning. And he dreamed that an angel of the Lord came to him with a drawn sword in his hand, and the angel stood over Abimelech, and wished to slay him with the sword. And the king was terrified in his dream, and said to the angel, In what have I sinned against thee that thou comest to slay me with thy sword? And the angel answered and said to Abimelech, Behold, thou diest on account of the woman which thou didst yesternight bring to thy house. For she is a married woman, the wife of Abraham who came to thy house. Now therefore return that man his wife, for she is his wife. And shouldst thou not return her, know that thou wilt surely die, thou and all belonging to thee. And on that night there was a great outcry in the land of the Philistines. And the inhabitants of the land saw the figure of a man standing with a drawn sword in his hand, and he smote the inhabitants of the land with the sword, yea, he continued to smite them. And the angel of the Lord smote the whole land of the Philistines on that night, and there was a great confusion on that night and on the following morning. And every womb was closed, and all their issues, and the hand of the Lord was upon them on account of Sarah, wife of Abraham, whom Abimelech had taken. And in the morning Abimelech rose with terror and confusion, and with a great dread, and he sent, and had his servants called in, and he related his dream to them, and the people were greatly afraid. And one man standing amongst the servants of the king answered the king, saying, O sovereign king, restore this woman to her husband, for he is her husband, for the like happened to the king of Egypt when this man came to Egypt. And he said concerning his wife, She is my sister, for such is his manner of doing when he cometh to dwell in the land in which he is a stranger. And Pharaoh sent and took this woman for a wife, and the Lord brought upon him grievous plagues until he returned the woman to her husband. Now therefore, O sovereign king, Know what happened yesternight to the whole land, for there was a very great consternation and great pain and lamentation, and we know that this was on account of the woman which thou didst take. Now therefore restore this woman to her husband, lest it should befall us as it did to Pharaoh king of Egypt and his subjects, and that we may not die. And Abimelech hastened and called and had Sarah called for, and she came before him. And he had Abraham called for, and he came before him. And Abimelech said to them, 
what is this work you've been doing in saying you are brother and sister and i took this woman for a wife and abraham said because i thought i should suffer death on account of my wife and abimelech took flocks and herds and men servants and maid servants and a thousand pieces of silver and he gave them to abraham and he returned sarah to him and abimelech said to abraham behold the whole land is before thee dwell in it wherever thou shalt choose and abraham and sarah his wife went forth from the king's presence with honor and respect and they dwelt in the land even in gerar and all the inhabitants of the land of the philistines and the king's servants were still in pain through the plague which the angel had inflicted upon them the whole night on account of sarah and abimelech sent for abraham saying pray now for thy servants to the lord thy god that he may put away this mortality from amongst us and abraham prayed on account of abimelech and his subjects and the lord heard the prayer of abraham and he healed abimelech and all his subjects